House Republicans released the Obamacare replacement bill. Republicans' Obamacare replacement package is finally out. The two House committees that are working on the bill are set to start on Wednesday. In Pre-existing condition coverage Continuous coverage, 30% penalty if people don't keep themselves insured. Special fund to help states set up high-risk pools, fix their insurance markets, or help low-income patients. Enrollment in expanded Medicaid will be frozen. Current enrollees can stay until 2020 and keep getting extra federal funds until they leave the program on their own. Medicaid will change to per capita caps, funding limits for each person, in fiscal year 2020. A new, refundable tax credit will be available in 2020 to help people buy health insurance. Covers five age groups, starts at $2,000 for people in their 20s, increases to $4,000 for people in their 60s. It's not means-tested, but phased out for upper-income people, starting at $75,000 for individuals, $150,000 for families. Insurers can charge older customers five times as much as young adults. Out. All Obamacare taxes. All Obamacare subsidies, including its premium tax credit. Individual, employer mandate penalties. Cattle Act tax until 2025. No longer will limit the tax break for employer-sponsored health coverage. No payments to insurers for cost-sharing reductions. Selling insurance across state lines can't be done in the reconciliation bill. Medical malpractice reform can't be done in the reconciliation bill. House Energy and Commerce Chairman Greg Walden, R.R said about the Republican leadership's Obamacare replacement bill. After years of Obamacare's broken promises, House Republicans today took an important step. We've spent the last eight years listening to folks across this country, and today we're proud to put forth a plan that reflects eight years' worth of those conversations with families, patients, and doctors. Simply put, we have a better way to deliver solutions that put patients, not bureaucrats, first and we are moving forward united in our efforts to rescue the American people from the mess Obamacare has created. With today's legislation, we return power back to the states, strengthening Medicaid and prioritizing our nation's most vulnerable. We provide the American people with what they've asked for, greater choice, lower cost, and flexibility to choose a plan that best suits their needs. Today is just the first step in helping families across this country obtain truly affordable health care, and we're eager to get this rescue mission started.